Amazing and terrifying surveillance video showing the moments gunfire erupted outside of a gas station right near 14th and Locust early this morning. Two people ended up getting shot. Fox 6's Bill Miston joins us live now with more on how others scrambled for cover. Bill? Hey there, Steph. Police are looking for suspects at this hour. And for the gas station's owner, he tells uh, Fox 6 that he's not surprised about this type of violence in the city, but that, but that it happened where it did. For nearly 20 years, Jajit Singh says problems have been few and far between at his shop at the intersection of Locust and Teutonia. But at around 4.15 Wednesday morning, gun violence that he says has plagued other parts of the city reared its head at his front door. This is happening all over. His surveillance cameras capturing the harrowing moments that was over as quickly as it started. First, you see a man in a white shirt walk up to this car and start talking to someone in the back seat. At the top of your screen, muzzle flashes, at least 14 from at least two people. The man in the white shirt hits the ground for cover when one second later you can see a bullet blows out the window coming inches from the man's head. A woman and man tumble out of the car and run inside, the man losing a shoe in the process, while the man in the white shirt takes off running. One of Singh's employees also inside. He heard the shot, a lot of people running inside. First he called and when he laid down the order too, he got scared, you know. The two people who ran in the store later run out, get back in the car and drive off. Police say a 17 year old girl and 18 year old man were shot. They, they find so many uh, uh, bolts from the lot. We have a, they, they damaged my property too. Now Singh is left to fix the damage. This is, uh, the police find out what's the problem, you know. They, the people go to the hospital, they find out what's going on. And hopes it doesn't happen again. Now that man and that girl were taken to the hospital and police say they did suffer non-life threatening injuries. At this hour, police say they don't have any suspects. Reporting live outside District 5 headquarters, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. It is amazing no one was killed. Bill, thank you.